Okay, now we'll do examples like this. I'll walk through example 4a with you and then uh, hopefully you can press pause and try this one yourself and then check the video to make sure you got it right. Okay, so example 4a please write this down 5 times negative 2 then minus 3 in parentheses times uh, 19 minus 21 all over 4 times negative 3 minus 5 times negative 4 right so again I'm going to write out the top over here and I'm going to work it out so 5 times negative 2 minus 3 times 19 minus 21 so I'm going to work out this step by step and after I've got that done then I'll figure out the bottom and then we'll uh, put whatever numbers we get we'll put them here on the top and bottom of our fraction bar right so figuring out the top again you gotta follow PEMDAS order of operations and what do we do first gotta do parentheses first where are the parentheses? We have a negative 2 in a parenthesis, but there's nothing to do inside of that. It's already calculated, so we can leave that alone. But this one, 19 minus 21, that one we have to calculate, right? So what is 19 minus 21? You have $19. You spend 21. How much money have you now? you're in debt right in debt by or you could change subtraction to plus negative it says 19 plus negative 21 19 positives 21 negatives put them together what do you have negative 2 right and just write out the whole thing again now so we've taken care of parentheses there's nothing to do inside any parentheses now, right? We go on to exponents. Do we have any exponents? Nope. But we do need to multiply, right? So, be, or before we subtract, obviously. So, multiplication, we've got one here. 5 times negative 2. What's that? 5 times negative 2. It's a negative 10. Then we have a negative 3 times a negative 2. I mean, the easiest way to deal with that, instead of worrying about whether that is negative 3 times negative 2, which is negative 6, and don't forget your other negative sign here, um, the easiest way is to just look at it and say, hey, that's just negative 3 times negative 2. What does negative 3 times negative 2 give you, right? See, negative 3 times negative 2 is just plus 6, and all you have to do is write down plus 6. Uh, also, you could change the subtraction to plus negative if that makes you feel better, because then it'll be plus negative 3 times negative 2. Right? So, plus what's negative 3 times negative 2? Positive 6. But of course, we could have just written down plus 6. Right? So, negative 10 plus 6. 10 negatives, 6 positives. What does that give you? negative 4 right so the top we just figured out the top because it was 5 times negative 2 right we figured out the top the top is negative 4 now let's figure out the bottom we've got 4 times negative 3 minus 5 times negative 4 so what do we do first multiply right what's 4 times negative 3 sorry 4 times negative 3 negative 12 right and now we have minus 5 times negative 4 again best way to do to deal with that is just say look that's just negative 5 times negative 4 that's all it is so calculate negative 5 times negative 4 well it's got to be positive right negative times negative is positive positive what positive 20, right? So just write down plus 20. If, if that, you still don't like the looks of that, you can just change subtraction to plus negative. And now it says plus, plus negative 5 times negative 4, right? 
What's negative 5 times negative 4? It's plus 20. But either way, you should have plus 20 there. Whatever happens, that should end up being plus 20, right? So negative 12 plus 20 is 12 negatives, 20 positives. 8 positives, right? So that is the bottom of the fraction, just the number 8. Now we can simplify the fraction, right? Can we um, put, any, put this in lowest terms? 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 8 goes twice, right? So that's a negative 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2, and it's always best to give your answer with the negative sign in line with the fraction bar, like that. So negative 1 half, okay? So the answer is negative 1 half. Okay, so on to 4b, and please write this down, and go ahead and do the problem yourself. So write it down, press pause in the video, and do it all yourself, and then check the video to see if it all worked out. Negative 3 times negative 8 minus 6, and in parentheses we've got negative 11 plus 10, then on the bottom negative 3 minus 5 minus 2, right? So press pause, do it yourself. Okay. I hope you've tried it yourself. I'm going to walk through it now just in case you need help with it or to check your answer. So I'm going to write out the top all over again and calculate that carefully. Negative 3 times negative 8 minus 6 times negative 11 plus 10, right? Now, first things first, got to look at PEMDAS, right? And we've got to do parentheses first, right? So, in the parentheses, we have negative 11 plus 10. See that? So we've got to do parentheses first. 11 negatives plus 10 positives gives what? 1 negative, right? So we we calculated everything inside and this negative 8 is in a parenthesis but there's nothing to do with it it's 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 already calculated there's n there's no calculations inside parentheses to do apart from this and that's done so we just write out the whole thing all over again right and then keep going from there so parentheses are done there's no exponents now we need to multiply or divide right so negative 3 times negative 8 is negative 3 times negative 8 positive 24 right what's negative 6 times negative 1 and again all you have to do is just multiply negative 6 times negative 1 and write down the answer so it's plus 6 right if you want to you can change subtraction to plus negative and now it says negative 24 you know plus plus that's a plus sign see negative 6 times negative 1 which is 6 right either way you should get plus 6 so 24 plus 6 is 30 so the top becomes 30 what about the bottom negative 3 minus 5 minus 2 change subtraction to plus negative and that will make it look a little nicer. Now it looks like this. Three negatives plus five negatives plus two negatives. Three bad guys and five bad guys and then two more bad guys. How many bad guys? Ten bad guys. Ten negatives, right? Can we put this in lowest terms? Ten into ten goes once. Ten into thirty goes three times, right? So what we actually have is 3 over negative 1. Can we simplify that further? That's a positive over negative. Positive over negative gives negative. And 3 over 1 gives 3, right? So negative 3. 